What is he? Oh no, it's Ray Growth Enterprise. Yes. I love to sing her about the moon and the Juna and the Springer. I love to sing her about a sky of blue or a How's it going everybody? Ragroth Enterprises here. So we got uh, some Soul Calibur 6 news recently. Uh, not really meant to be revealed. It was uh, some leaks. We got a character select screen showing Raphael and Cervantes on it. So they were confirmed for the game. Oh, not officially. So I'm talking about multiple things today. I guess, you know, my opinions on them and kind of just how it's going to be for the rest of the roster if there is a rest of the roster, rest of the base roster that is. So, I guess first let me say that I am really happy Raphael and Cervantes are back. Cervantes is a character I always liked. Never really mained him, I don't know why, but I've always really liked him. Um, I was pretty certain he was going to be in the game. Um, I think the only thing that gave us like some doubt was like early on, like I think like Vergaban was saying that, oh, he's, he's possibly going to be DLC or something like that. And thankfully that wound up not being true, but he's, he's typically a staple, so I wasn't too worried about him. Raphael um, has been basically one of my favorite characters since Soul Calibur, like, 4. So, yeah, Soul Calibur 4 or 5-ish. I mean, I've always liked him since 2 and 3, but 4 was, I feel like, when I really started you know, liking him a lot. I think it was his design and his moveset more that I, I started liking a lot more. So, I'm definitely happy he's back. He's one of my favorites. I was a little worried about him, only because it's like the roster was so Soul Calibur 1 populated, and we, I thought maybe Zoslamel and Talon were going to be our only kind of bone throws to like Soul Calibur 2 and 3, and even though, yeah, we got Tira, she's technically a DLC, but I was really happy to see him. I'm, I'm not, I don't love his design, I don't hate it, I kind of think it's like the colors, at least the color of the vest, and maybe how the glasses or whatever looks on him on the model, and like the artwork, he looks amazing, it's just, I don't know, the, mo the 3D model just doesn't translate as well, I don't know why. Cervantes looks amazing, though, it's definitely one of my favorite designs for him. Um, and I did ch yeah, check out the gameplay for them, kind of the unofficial gameplay for them that the, the guy posted the video of. Um, you know, they look pretty cool. I, I mean, don't worry. I'm, I'm going to do reaction videos to them because I feel like, oh yeah. And I wanted to give a shout out to Legendary Legacy uh, in the comments of my, uh, the last leak of video I did talking about like the leak after as well was revealed. Kind of want to do a video about talking about like Rafael and Cervantes anyway. Um, shout out to Legendary Legacy for suggesting and kind of requesting uh doing a video talking about the rest of the roster and the leaks and all that stuff so yeah even with them revealed already i'm gonna do reaction videos to them especially because i you know i want to see better quality footage of them and it's like i did kind of hold off on watching their critical edges so i kind of at least saved that for a surprise it is a shame they kind of got spoiled for me though even though i'm just happy to see them in when it, when it comes down to it at the time of, at the time of me recording this video they are not officially revealed Okay, so another big thing after this leak was, I guess the talk about is if this is the final roster or not. So if we notice, when we look at the character select screen, so we got Rafael and Cervantes, you know, we got Oswell in the upper left, up the upper right corner. Oh, and then the the, um, the bigger circle in the bottom left is the create a soul char character slot. Um, and it's, even though I can't, you know, even though it's not in the picture, I can't, I'm kind of afraid to show the video because I, I don't want this video again taken down. My apologies for that. I know it's kind of a pain, but um, so they, they did highlight it in the video, and it is, in fact, the create a character slot. So that's what that'll be. I kind of figured it'd be in the middle one, but maybe that'll be Inferno or something. So then you have these two with the two in the top left corner above Jean Gua, to the left of Siegfried, and then you have this one kind of near near the bottom right corner where um, uh, it's under Cervantes and to the right of Taki. You know, when we all when we all first saw the character select screen, they all, you know, these two looked like they would be other, like, character slots in the base roster. But then you have these two, and I know it's kind of, one of them is kind of blocked in the picture, and I apologize for that again. Two to the, kind of the left of the bottom, you have one in the bottom left that's, like, kind of, it looks like it's kind of out of the character select screen, and then you have one in the bottom right that's kind of out of the character select screen. And it just happens to be there's four of them, so some people are thinking, oh wait, are these just the four DLC characters and we've seen the whole roster? And that's what I'm kind of here to debate. So basically, you know, because of course there happens to be four of them and there's four DLC characters counting Tira. So basically the pros to saying that there is still at least maybe two more characters to go is that in earlier builds of the, builds of the, character, select, the character select screen, the top left and I guess the bottom right, the bottom-ish right one had larger circles that are kind of the same size as the character, 
characters in the character select screen. And, and funnily enough, the, um, the, two, the two bottom ones off to the sides actually were still there and they were the smaller circles. So that kind of suggests that those are still still main, uh, still main base character slots. Secondly, it's like there's still some time before release. They could, if they really wanted to, maybe fit like you know three or four more re re reveals counting Raphael and, C and Cervantes. I think it really depends on when they're officially revealed. Like if they're officially revealed like this week or have been officially revealed, then I think we're probably okay and we're going to get one or two, at least one or two more. Um, but like if they're revealed at Tokyo Game Show like these two, and no one else, that's probably not a good thing because it's like that'll be kind of the last event before the game comes out. Unless you want to count New York Comic Con. Um, and like, yeah, they could maybe reveal something like early October, but it's like, ah, I don't I don't know how likely that is. I don't know. Um, at most, it would maybe just be Inferno or something. But there's still some time. It really depends on when these two are released. Um, and another thing is, most of the time, they're not going to show the actual kind of space where the DLC characters will be, like, before they actually come out. Like, I know I'm pretty sure with um, Tekken 7, there was no, like, kind of, like, blank character select slot or kind of shattered out slot for um, for Aliza in Tekken 7. The only, I feel like, time a company has done this, at least recently, is with NetherRealm Studios. They, you know, usually, at least with a pre-order character, they have it, so, like, you'll see them if you don't have them. But the other thing is with NetherRealm is they kind of show silhouettes and all that for their characters, or at least they started doing that with Injustice 2, or the end of, or I guess the end of MKX. So that might just be kind of their thing. Usually the, the, the DLC characters, they, they don't appear at all on the characters that select. I mean, like, yeah, there might be some like blank space where they could fit in, but there's never kind of a symbol or icon for where they would be, to put it simply. So that's another thing kind of supporting, like, you know, there's, there's gonna be more characters in the base roster, because there are, the symbols there, you know, that indicating that there is kind of more to come that just maybe isn't in this build, or maybe they're unlockable. There have been, other, and also there have been just other things that are kind of teased or kind of unanswered that could lead to more characters. Like, for instance, we saw a lizard man using an axe and shield for create a soul. And admittedly, like people are like, yeah, well, it could just be Sophia's style. One of the ultimate weapons is an axe, but. I don't know about that. They've never done that with Sophie Diastal. You know, when, when Lizard Man got the axe and shield, only he he only had axes, and Sophie and Cassandra only had swords. And I, I think that's that's a little more involved than just kind of a different alternate weapon. That that's kind of like an axe looks a lot different from a sword, even if they use it in similar ways. That it has to it can't. I don't think it can just simply be a skin. And then of course, I know this is a little more wishful thinking on my part. Wang was kind of teased in Song Mina's bio. And it is a, you know, and I mean, yeah, he could just be an NPC. I don't know. It could still lead to something. The other thing is, I know this is, I guess, this doesn't always mean anything, but I think most of us agree. If we at least don't get the, the top left slot and the, and the slot kind of in the bottom right-ish filled, you know, I guess at, at, at the launch of the game, that's going to be a really awkward character selection. That's like really random places to kind of not fill in. Like, yeah, the, the two to the bottom left and bottom right, like, yeah, I can understand maybe that. I mean, even then, that's kind of awkward too, but I, I don't know. I feel like that I could let slide a bit more, but it would just be really weird and off kind of not having those two be taken. I mean, I guess one could be like maybe as Tira because she's like day one DLC. And the other one's like maybe Inferno, but it's like again, they didn't do the day one DLC with Tekken 7 with um, Elise, and I'm pretty sure there's been other games that I've done that as well. Kind of weird to do that, I don't know. I know maybe wishful thinking, but that's just what I think. I'm kind of trying to balance this with logic, and, and I guess, you know, I have to make sure where I'm being than just uh, wishful thinking. Now, some of you were so mad about the Tira situation, however, now this would make me mad having those four blank slots that are just kind of teasing me. That I have to wait for DLC for. That would kind of piss me off. And then this is kind of this. I've kind of already mentioned this. It's not a very good point, but there could just be unlockable characters. I mean, you know, I feel like I feel like at least as well. Maybe you'd have to unlock maybe and maybe like Inferno. I mean, I feel like if it's Huang and Lizard Man though, they're really random unlocks. I mean, technically, I guess they have been unlocked in a lot of games before. I think actually every game Huang was in, except for maybe Soul Blade, you had to unlock him. But, you know, times have really changed with that. And usually when they're unlockable in these games, they're usually, like, kind of boss characters or something like that, or special characters. And as much as I like Wang and Lizard Man, I don't know if, you know, they really qualify as that. So, right, now we got to look on to the cons of, you know, what's supporting that. Oh, maybe, you know, Cervantes and Raphael were, in fact, the last characters. I did briefly talk about how older builds, like the 
the top left and the bottom rightish one or the size of the actual character slots. Well, maybe the reason they're smaller now, and this would kind of suck, but maybe like initially they thought they were able to get those characters done before release, whoever's going to fill those slots, but maybe they kind of figured they're like, oh, you know what? I don't think we can. So then they kind of had to relegate them to this like kind of smaller circle that the DLC characters will be used for. I don't know how likely that is, but it's, I think it is a possibility, unfortunately, or they were just placeholders. And of course, we kind of already mentioned this already, but you know, there does just happen to be four of them, and there are four DLC characters. Um, and then this is also very worrisome. The leaker that I talked about in the other video that was saying Huang and Lizard Man are in there. Um, and I know he was unsure about Huang and Lizard Man. It, 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 basically, it seemed like Huang and Lizard Man, he was just kind of guessing because he saw Huang's model or something. Or maybe because of Song Mina's bio. And Lizard Man, because it's like, oh, well, they got the model for him to create a soul. He actually updated the roster, and they're not in. However, Inferno is there. And this would sort of make sense, because Inferno, you wouldn't really have to do narration lines for, which is what he was down and quang with. This would definitely suck, though. I mean, I, I, do, I do like Inferno, but at the end of the day, he's just a mimic character. And I really like Wang and Lizard Man, even if I really prefer the Soul Calibur 5 version of Lizard Man. But I guess another thing with this, though, is that, like, if Inferno fills one of these slots, then again, that would mean Tira would fill one of them. And it's like, I don't, I just don't understand why it's like her DLC slot would be there already. I mean, yeah, it could be a possibility that those two slots are just Inferno and Tira, but. I, I don't know. It's definitely a tricky thing. I don't know. And then I guess another kind of worrisome thing is that um, the character, the, the story mode kind of character select screen we saw a while back, like during the E3 trailer, it did seem like it did only have 20 slots or 20, I guess, characters to pick. With what we got here, there is 20 characters. However, I guess, you know, I mean, we know Tira is getting one, so I guess it is possible that you know, either this wasn't final, or there's gonna be, again, there's unlockable characters, and you know, you unlock them as you go, or, or you know, maybe it's just the stories have to be unlocked for something. I'm not sure, not really sure, but I mean, it's definitely not helping. Um, and then one other thing is that I know, again, I don't know a picture of it. You'd have to find the videos. A notification of a trophy did pop up when the when the guys were playing, and this could be bad because that could mean it's the retail version, the final version of the game. I mean, again, uh, you know, it could it could just mean it's a very late version, and there could be trophies in. I don't I don't really know if someone could kind of give me um, an example of like maybe when a final final version of a game had trophies in the build, but it wasn't actually like the legit final version. You know, definitely let me know. I don't you know, but I have heard people say that, and it does suggest that it could be the final version, like the super final version, if that's even a term. So now, I guess I'll say this: I will definitely be upset if. There are no more, char no more characters, mainly if Huang and any form of Lizard Man is not in the game. However, do I think this roster would be bad? Hell no. I think it's actually a pretty good roster regardless. I know some people say, oh, but Soul Calibur 5 has more. Yeah, but also, Soul Calibur 5, most of the new characters were replacements for classic characters. Both this and, and Soul Calibur 5 have, have a guest character, but I personally prefer for Geralt. I mean, neither character was someone I really wanted, but I think Geralt is just more cooler and more interesting to me than Ezio. Not to mention that two more, two, like the two of the new characters had other versions of themselves in the game, in the same game, and another one was just kind of an, another, another replacement for a character. And the other one is basically had the same weapon style, just kind of different. And then, do I really need to remind you that Soul Calibur 5 had not one, not two, but three Mimic characters. Was this really necessary? Not to mention one of the Mimic characters is a character that had his own moveset before, referring to Killick. Not to mention, you know, this game just brings back characters that didn't have any moveset references whatsoever in Soul Calibur V, like Sasamel and, and Talon. Oh, and I guess, I guess Song Mina as well. This game is probably like the biggest example of quality over quantity, if this is the final roster that is. Not to mention, but it's like, even if it only really got two new characters, I really like both Gro and Oswell, maybe more than any of the new characters in Soul Calibur 5. I mean, I like Zvi and Viola, but that was about it. And even then, I think I prefer Gro and, and Oswell. But now, okay, so let's say there are more characters and we're in the clear. Well, how many, you know, how many do I think there are left and how many and who are they? Well, I think at most it's just going to be one to two. I kind of do think that the bottom two, like on the left and right, 
are either just DLC or maybe like alternate character creator ones, like maybe random character creator or like um, a character creator, you, you know, shared ones. I mean, that would be amazing if there's four left, but I'm kind of like, I'm in hopes I'm trying to be a little more realistic and just expect one or two. And I think they're either Huang because of the leaks and rumors, obviously, and I really hope it's him. Lizardman, again, see Huang, we see he's kind of already in the game. Cassandra, because of a theory I have, Axe and Shield style is not Lizardman's, but it's Cassandra. Cassandra's. I feel like this would be a way to kind of bring it, bring bring back Cassandra and kind of revamp her in a bit without kind of changing her too much as to not alienate fans of her play style before. I kind of see it as kind of a Ganondorf situation with Smash Brothers where Sakurai kind of don't want to change Ganondorf's moveset that much because he didn't want to alienate fans of fans have I played already. I kind of think this is a lot more unreasonable than Cassandra's situation, but even still, that's what it kind of would remind me of. I also feel like Huang and Cassandra would be overall much more final reveals than Huang and Lizardman. Now, I personally am more of a Lizardman fan than I am Cassandra. However, I will admit I'm really not looking forward to the idea of Lizardman kind of losing his unique Soul Calibur V fighting style, which is much cooler and more interesting to me. So I guess if people could just get, get Cassandra back and maybe I could kind of have Aeon's fighting style added, added another date. Hell, you don't have to add him because I could basically just easily create him with a lizard man race and then his fighting style. You know, if it would make more people happy and I could kind of, you know, get my Aeon back down the road, I'd be fine with that, you know. And I think her having an action shield would kind of make me like Cassandra more. And hell, she could still have like some moves like your shield throw as well. And then of course, I think another possible, uh, definitely possible character, as I've already mentioned before, is Inferno. Um, because I think, well, Leaker, I think one or two Leakers have actually said Inferno. He would probably fit well. He'd actually, I think Inferno would kind of fit good in either, in either the spot next to Siegfried or the spot under Cervantes and Taki. Um, under Cervantes because it would kind of fill, you know, kind of, it seems like the right side of the screen is mostly villains or rivals. Um, but then the top left, I feel like Inferno would be, I guess, a, a good opposite to as well. Because they're both, I guess, kind of the boss characters. I mean, I wouldn't mind Inferno. I like him. I, I do hope he still has his like spin move thing. But, but yeah, I don't really know how likely this is. Um, I, I could, I could maybe see like, you know, Cassandra and Hoang easily just being DLC. Another thing is that um, I think one of the leakers actually said that Inferno would get his own special slot. Um, I could actually see this slot being that middle slot. Especially because it kind of looks like fire or something. I think it's more just more like a tree. I could see that being his slot. And it is kind of a weird, like, I don't know. It kind of looks like it is something. It's just kind of different. It's like, it looks similar to the other ones, but it's kind of different at the same time. I can't really put my finger on it. Um, so I could see that being Inferno's slot. And then maybe, ah, uh, crap. Then I guess maybe that wouldn't mean the other four is DLC. I mean, I don't know. Hey, look, if, if we got Inferno there and then there's four more base characters, I'd say it'd be like Huang, Lizardman, Cassandra, and probably like, probably like Rock or like Setsuka. I feel, maybe probably more so Rock. I feel like Setsuka would be saved as DLC. Just to kind of, if, if you had Huang and Rock and Lizardman, you'd have basically the whole Soul Calibur 1 roster and then Inferno. Yeah, you would have literally everyone from Soul Calibur 1. So maybe that would just be the best kind of, and then you'd have basically all the Soul Calibur 2 characters minus John Song, but it's like, you know, we have Huang back who fights basically, you know, very similarly, and I, I like him a lot better than Yon Song. Or hell, maybe Yon Song is the character, maybe Huang isn't. You know, whatever, then I'll just use his style to make Huang, you know, not the end of the world. But that's just what I think. I think either way, this roster is fine, but it would still be kind of a shame it ended here. I mean, it's not a terrible note to end on, because again, I really like Raphael and Cervantes. So I think that's about it for this video. Um, I feel like I kind of covered everything. I apologize if it's a longer one. I sort of just want to kind of talk about a few multiple things, you know, instead of you kind know, of just talk about the leak and my opinions on them, and what's next. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What do you think about Ralph, Raphael and Cervantes? I might be asking that same question on the reaction videos if they're posted, you know, when, when I, before I release this video. Do you guys think that, th that this is the end of the roster? If so, why? And if not, who do you think is remaining? How many characters are remaining? Let's see if we can get this video to at least like, give me like a, uh, like 75 likes here we go that's a decent number if you haven't already i'd really appreciate it if you subscribe you know it motivates me to keep making videos you'll also know immediately when i when i release new videos which is usually every saturday afternoon but even still sometimes ones like reaction videos and leak videos i do release 
kind of a spur of the moment kind of times. Um, but that's about it. Like the video if you like it, dislike if you dislike it, it's a free country. And as I always say, another time, another place. Keep being awesome.